Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. It was during this week in early August, 45 years ago, that people in the Adirondacks were living in fear, terrorized by a serial killer named Robert Garrow, who spent nearly two weeks on the run from police after murdering a 16-year-old girl and three campers. A film crew spent an entire Saturday earlier this summer in the old courthouse in Elizabethtown, shooting scenes for a new movie directed by indie filmmaker Lori Bailey. Wasn't pretending to be no cop. You did have a badge and a gun and a knife, didn't you? On the stand, actor J. Allen Christensen plays Robert Garrow, a convicted rapist and child molester turned serial killer on trial for murdering three campers he abducted, tortured, and stabbed to death in the summer of 1973. In the scenes being shot this day, Garrow is being questioned by the prosecutor and his defense attorney, played by well-known Hollywood actors Phil Kasnoff and Mark Valley. The cast members say the chilling but true life story of Garrow, his murder spree and manhunt, is what attracted them to the film. It was a time <clears throat> summer of 1973 when most of the national news was about Watergate and Vietnam. But up here, this the largest manhunt, I guess, in New York history threw everything out of kilter for these people up here. It ruined their tourist season. It frightened the hell out of them. And uh, he's a compelling, he's a, he, he, he represents in many ways evil incarnate. He's damaged. But the whole process of what he did and what he went through and then the ensuing trial um, is fascinating in a lot of ways. The cool thing about these low budget films is everybody is expected to, to do their part and everybody kind of shows up and gives about 120%. And, uh, you know, there's no, there's no time for divas and egos or special treatment or anything like that. So. Um, it's usually a lot of fun. People are just doing it because they care about the work, they want to tell the story. Why did you take this role? Why not? It's like a dream. He actually auditioned for the role of one of Garrow's lawyers. But when the actor chosen to play Garrow gave up the role, Bailey asked Christensen, who is fascinated by Garrow's story. You know, he was abused and, you know, I, I thought how fascinating that he was basically an indentured slave to this Jacob family at age nine. Well, that has to, you know, have an effect on you, let alone, you know, the abuse from his mother and from his father. The cast also includes local actors like Tom Halloran, the social studies teacher from Northville, whose father, Mike, was one of the state police investigators who hunted Garrow. I'm filling big shoes in this role. Uh, not too many people get to play their fathers. <laughs> so it's an honor. For Lori Bailey, it's her second film shot in Essex County. And like her first, Mineville, which tells the story of immigrants from the area who worked the iron mines, the Garrow case also has ties to her family. And what is it about the Garrow story that... Um, well, he was my dad's neighbor, so I'm, I've kind of lived with that story all of my life. Um, my dad went to school with him. So it's always been fascinating. The story was written about Robert, but then we wanted to bring it in as a, as a trial, the three days of him on the um, stand, and then uh, transition back into uh, the flashbacks when he was telling his story. So that's when I talked to Phil, and I said, I don't, I don't, I don't do courtroom, so I'm going to need a little help here. Bailey shot a portion of the movie on Garrow's abusive upbringing a couple of years ago, and we'll wrap up filming on the feature-length film next month shooting scenes of Garrow's escape from the Fishkill prison in 1978. But after three days on the run, he was shot and killed. Like Mineville, Bailey hopes Garrow may get a run in theaters, at least here in the region. By the way, you can find links to the digital short of Garrow and a minute long trailer released just a couple of weeks ago on our website at mountainlake.org.